in New Zealand the greenstone is alluvial, so that's where there is other material in the ground. So it's actually not mined in a seam as such. It's been rolled down the hills or through the rivers, you know, approximately 60 million years ago. And this is really the, the real core panamu or the real core greenstone. And we tend to use a lot of the rind or the outside of the stone and then the core of the stone to give it that flower jade type of effect. The heart of the stone is the deep green and the rind of the stone is the outside of it. We market our product under the brand Tiwahi Panama, meaning the place of green stone. And we put an authenticity scheme with it as well. We work with Naitahu Panamu on their authenticity scheme and we also have a picture of the stone that we're using for our carving. There's about 22 steps that go into manufacturing. By the time you take the stone, you cut it, you shape it, you polish it. It's a waxed polyester cord. Leather will fray. This lasts a lot longer than leather. And then you always roll it so that it goes into the knot. We produce a range of greenstone carvings for the rugby union. To know it's an authentic product, there's a hologram, a rugby union hologram on the back. I've been involved in the greenstone industry for the last 40, 45 years, and I learnt my trade from my father. He was instrumental in setting up one of the very first greenstone manufacturing businesses in the early 70s. He purchased a large greenstone boulder, which became known as the Nicholson boulder and that one stone sort of sustained his business for many, many years. This is where the Panamu comes from. It only comes from this part of the west coast. It doesn't come from anywhere else in New Zealand, only the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand. <laughs>